What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to Hot Ready. Out here in the shop going through bait, urine, and lures that I'm going to use this year on the trap line. Uh, apparently a lot of guys don't like talking about bait and lure anymore, but it's probably one of my favorite things to talk about. So here's my spread. We'll go through what I'm going to use. A lot of this stuff is stuff that I used last year and even some of it's several years old. So, you know, you see on the online people asking if your bait and lure is good, you know, from the previous year. Uh, yeah, it definitely is, as long as you don't have it sitting in the sun. But um, a lot of this stuff is uh, probably several. The Rusets Fatal Breath here is, oh, goodness, probably a couple, three years old at least now, I guess. But uh, it's definitely fine to reuse stuff from last year. So, like I said, here's the spread that I'm gonna use. Some of it's new to me, uh, some of it's new on the market even, but we'll go through here. Uh, I got the stuff from Montana Wolf Trapper over here on the end. It's the November 6th and the Meat Lovers. Used, a lot, used that a little bit last year, not a whole lot. Um, I had some success with, I think it was November 6th. I was pairing that with this Katz Brothers uh, Toxy dog uh, lure there and it seemed to really work out well. The uh, the uh, water gallon there is some stuff that I come up with. It's a it's a DP coon bait. You can see it. It's uh, it smells really really good. It's got like a berry flavor to it. Um, you know it comes in these little these little balls here, but uh, gonna use that. I've played with that here a little bit. Looks like it's gonna work out good. It's, it's berry flavored, which works good to not catch uh, farm cats, house cats, what, what have you. So if you're gonna be trapping around farms that have cats, I definitely would not use cat food. Cat food is an absolute killer on coon for DPs, but uh, you know, I don't like catching the farmer's cats and um, it doesn't hurt them, you know, but they're just a pain to release if you've ever had to release a cat. So berry flavored DP baits are phenomenal around around farms. Uh, I got the full spread here from Iron Trail. Iron Trail hooked me up this year and really excited to try out all of his all of his baits, uh, the lures. Got some coyote urine from them. Um, Really looking forward to trying this stuff out. Uh, one of the lines I'm going to be doing is is on a pretty good sized river here for beaver, and I tried. Sent, he sent me out some otter gland lure, so I'm going to go for some otter. There's a lot of otters in that river. Uh, the beaver lure, log jam, full setup for coyote. Also the also his uh, full run here on coyote or coyote. Raccoon baits and lure. Smokehouse Smackdown is like a dry DP bait. Fish Frenzy um, is more liquid, like your normal, like a coyote bait you would see. Um, and then that Ringtail Reaper lure is super, super like fruity smelling. Smells really, really good. So looking forward to trying that stuff. The full line on the coyote, long call, uh, coyote gland lure, and then his Armageddon bait there. All this is going to be new for me to use. Um, I got some Dobbins Backbreaker here. I used that last year for beaver. Worked really good. Uh, like I said, this Toxie Dog from Katz Brothers uh, really worked, worked really good for me last year. Last year was the first year using that stuff. Top Dog I got my Hoosier Trapper line up here. I got some fox urine, coyote urine. The top dog paired with this uh, black gold predator bait was, or predator lure, was number one for me last year. Um, I've always had really good luck with top dog and just pairing it with that black gold really seemed, uh, seemed to bring something out. I mean, I think in one set, 
I think I caught three or four coyotes out of the same set with, with black gold and top dog. So top dog, always a number one performer for me. Uh, I got a nice uh, spread here from Dunlap Lures. Uh, he, he sells baits in these smaller containers and that works out good. Um, then you can try more, um, try more of the baits instead of buying the bigger containers of it. Uh, the dirt nap works good. And I got the Cryptic Coyote Gland Hellfire uh, Firefly Glow Coon Lure. And uh, the Big Pile Beaver Lure, which worked amazing last year for me. Caught a lot of beaver on that. Got a little setup here from uh, Southern Snares and Supply. Got the War Horse. That stuff's always worked really good for me. Insidious. Um, Insidious Lure here. It says Coyote, Bobcat, and Fox. I used that last year. It worked out good. And then some Gator Oil. Nice little change up there. And then the Rusats. I've used Rusat stuff for a long, long, long time. Probably since I started trapping even. Um, I think Rusats probably has the best urine on the market. I got some Pro Shot, a little bit of Pro Shot left over, but I got um, a couple jugs of the uh, um, the private stock coyote urine. And then the Deep Creek, and like I said, this Fatal Breath, this stuff's pretty old because you do not need to use much. That stuff is extremely potent. Um, it, it filled up my whole shop right now, just taking it out of the uh, out of the bucket. But this is what I plan on using this year, guys. Um, you know, on the on the topic of of all this bait and lure. You know, if you guys are just starting out, like for instance, you know the. Uh, the uh, predator control kit I put together with Iron Trail, you don't need all this stuff. Um, honestly, when I first started trapping, uh, all I used was some bait and some urine. I didn't use any lure at all for several years and um, had no issues catching coyotes uh, and coyotes in numbers. But uh, you don't need a whole ton of stuff. Uh, good bait and a urine and you know you're good to go but on the same hand it does not hurt to have a big selection to uh, you know change sets up you know if you're setting doubles triples you know different smells in each set is is beneficial that way if you got something that he's not interested in he's got a couple other options there so um, like I said, you don't need all this, but you know, after you've trapped for years, you're gonna have leftovers. Um, so you're, you'll slowly build it up. So don't go out and you know buy a ton of different things. You know, every year maybe buy something different or add a lure, or try a different bait. Um, so go about it that way. Don't don't go out and buy a crap ton of bait, lure, and urine. Um, but so, like I said, this is what I'm using for the 22-23 season. I've got uh, four weeks of vacation, so I'm gonna be planning on trapping pretty hard here. And we're gonna really hit the coons hard. We got about another week and a half before season starts. So, follow along guys. Check out Iron Trail. He's a sponsor of mine, so, you know, any support he gives me, is appreciated and then I, I appreciate all the support you guys would give uh, Luke with Iron Trail so check out Iron Trail if you got any trapping stuff you need he's got a full full uh, website full of everything you could ever want so um, yep stay tuned guys got some deer hunting stuff coming up a lot of trapping stuff coming up should have a ton of videos coming here with with four weeks off so appreciate you guys We'll catch you on the next one.